child means constantly changing and adapting to the next phase of growth and life. It gets easier over time, but as a new parent, it can be quite challenging, especially when it comes to feeding your baby. So we have dietitian Katie Ferraro is the mom behind the popular Instagram account 100 First Foods Before One. And then we also have our very own Sarah Sanchez with her little baby girl, Carmen, who is how old now? She's just 10 months today. 10 it's her months 10 month old. Birthday today. Yeah. And Katie, that's the time that kids start transitioning, right? We are. We were just talking about, you know, you've been kind of smooth sailing for a while, yeah. but 10 months can be a little bit of a tricky time because it's when they start doing things to get your attention. So yeah, she's already are dropping carrots dropping on the ground. And, <laughs> yeah. and then their interest in food will wax and wane, but that's just part of the <laughs> typical progress mm -hmm. of, you know, moving your way towards the first year mark there. But six months is when I started, started introducing Started introducing. Solids, okay. Yeah. Well, we're seeing her enjoy a feast right now. Yeah, she started breakfast. with, as soon as she saw the the, the spread she was really <laughs> yeah. curious this girl loves food <laughs> she does and I've been watching her eat with Sarah for four months now and she started on solid foods totally skipped purees and has been mm -hmm. self-feeding from the start which is a really great way to help raise an independent eater and there's also some data that suggests it helps prevent picky eating down the road okay now there's a lot of fear about making the transition and a lot of misconceptions out there what would you say the biggest misconception is when switching from formula or well, baby led weaning that's what this is yeah yeah so it's not it, i didn't spoon feed her purees okay yeah, i all. just plopped the food in front of her and said have at it kid. all right <laughs> yeah so you don't need to to do that you don't need purees. to no, puree is an important texture for babies to learn how to master but we encourage parents to help their baby learn how to self-feed by spoon versus actually putting the spoon in their mouth because you asked what one of the biggest fears is and it's the fear of choking yeah. parents don't understand sometimes the difference between gagging and choking and anytime you put a foreign object in a baby's mouth it can increase choking risk so we don't want to force feed by spoon we want to teach the baby how to feed themselves with their hands and with a baby spoon as well I know there are probably some parents out there saying "Ooh, blueberries isn't that dangerous mm -hmm. Like well, we took the, the blueberries and, and we blueberries. smashed them with a thumb, so it's always safest for smaller sized foods. We're talking about grapes. Yes. Even with um, Hayden, who's three, you still want to cut them in half. For babies, we quarter them. They're all foods can be safe if they're prepared safely, and any food can be a choking hazard if it's you know if you allow a child to run around with a grape, that's mm -hmm. a huge choking risk. But Right now, Carmen's seated. We smashed the blueberries with the thumb. She's able to scoop them up. She's got her pincer grasp and to safely feed herself these wholesome whole foods. And she looks curious and like she's having fun with it. Now, a mom might say, oh, this gets messy, though. I know. I get that a lot. But the thing is, it was at the beginning, and it depends on what you introduce. Like, we have yogurt here, and yogurt was by far the messiest. Yogurt is bath day only at my yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's yogurt, very, it's very bad. messy. But the older they get, the better it gets. Absolutely. Around, so now, I yep. mean, it's just a wipe, and you're done. And okay. at the beginning, it is messy, but I also encourage parents that our goal here is not to prevent the mess. Yeah. Our goal is to help raise an independent eater and prevent picky eating down the road. Mm -hmm. A little bit of mess cleanup when they're six, seven, eight mm -hmm. months old is a whole heck of a lot better than sitting there and cajoling and begging and pleading with your toddler mm -hmm. to eat because they are a picky eater. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of a trade-off. You do the work up front. So let's talk about some of these foods that you have here. What is this? Okay, well, that's that's our um, extra food. Okay. Because okay. Carmen's been over here <laughs> pounding these blueberries up. <laughs> when Banana. I make a meal for a baby, I like to do a combination of a carbohydrate food. So, for example, the meal that she has here, I made a little um, French toast sticks with low-sodium bread, no added sugar, just some cinnamon, because babies do need starches like pastas and potatoes and breads, um, but we want to choose the low sodium ones. And then I paired it with a small portion of uh, hard boiled egg. That's a great source of iron for babies, which is so important. It's in the yolk <laughs> there. And that, that rubbery texture is a really cool texture experience. And then I always like to offer one fruit or one vegetable. So I knew she liked blueberries. So we Loves brought those for her as well. But look how small the portions are. She's not going to eat oh, a this ton. this is her favorite too. So, <laughs> but uh but she is able to eat most of that and if she's showing us that she's still hungry we look at her cues and we continue to offer foods until she's full because babies are amazing they know when they're full and they know when to stop eating yeah they do can we take a look at one of the videos uh, real quick that sarah you said she was her first time trying kiwi. something kiwi do we there, there it we is go. this was baby carmen how long ago was this a while ago look at her she doesn't have like the pincher <laughs> grasp she can barely pick it up i didn't even recognize her i know well her hair is in her face that's too. right but yeah first time trying kiwi little sour and she dropped it on the ground but that's okay but kiwi's a great food you're vitamin so c cute. food that helps the babies absorb iron from the other foods they're getting because we were talking you know your child doesn't eat meat 
your child does. Yeah, There's yeah. plant-based and animal-based sources of iron, but vitamin C from fruits and vegetables really helps the baby absorb that. For more information, if people are interested in finding you, what should they do? Well, I have a free online workshop called Baby Led Weaning for Beginners, so if any of this stuff freaks you out, it's uh, <laughs> babyledweaning.co. Thank you so much for being here, Katie. Thank you for waking Thank up you. with us yeah, and absolutely. Carmen, you were just perfect. No meltdowns <laughs> at all. No, because you have food in her. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>